Who created ballroom dancing? A quick summary. Ballroom dancing gets its name from its roots. Hundreds of years ago, ballroom dancing took place at balls, and it was mostly an event for the wealthy. Back in those days, ordinary people would get together and enjoy folk dancing. Today, ballroom dancing is for everyone. Whether you want to have a fun evening out, attend a wedding, or become a competitive dancer, there are many options for pursuing ballroom dancing. Let's find out how ballroom dance has evolved to the present day. The beginning of ballroom dance. The very first recorded authority of early ballroom dancing is Jahan Thoinatarbo's Orchisography 1588, that talked about 16th-century French social dance. In 1650, Jean-Baptiste Lully presented the Minuet to Paris, a dance that would control ballroom till the end of the 18th century. It began as a social event or celebration for the upper class. In the beginning, ballroom dances had different styles in different countries and regions. You can't talk about who created ballroom dancing without mentioning that it developed from folk dances that were popular in various areas. The first popular ballroom dances were the minuet, the quadrille, the polka, and others of that kind. Dances that use the close hold position originated in Western Europe in the 16th century. The reason that ladies take their position on the right side of the men is that the men carried their swords on their left side. These dances move in a counterclockwise fashion because the men stayed to the inside to make sure their swords didn't hit the audience. Also, the ladies needed to move forward so as not to step on the hem of their dresses. The 1800s. In the 1800s, ballroom dance became very popular in England. The waltz was a dance that the English developed to what it has become today. There were still other popular dances, such as the polka and the mazurka. During this time, more attention was paid to etiquette and rituals, and ballroom dance fit in well with this. Children in the upper classes were educated on how to ask a partner to dance. They also learned the appropriate conversation to have while dancing. In addition, ballroom dance spread to the United States. As the Industrial Revolution created a wealthy upper class, social engagements featuring ballroom became popular. Etiquette was important, and ballroom dance was taught as a part of the protocol. The upper classes are those who created ballroom dancing. Today. Ballroom dance is much more than a social event for wealthy people. With dance studios offering lessons in almost every city, anyone can learn and enjoy ballroom dance. It is not limited to social events, as competitions have become widespread. Ballroom dance has become an excellent activity for anyone who wishes to give it a try. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. Until next time, ballroomdanceplanet.com.